What's up, my Fina love, sisters Fina D, coming to you all from Fina Team and Me. So while everyone was getting over the lies, the lies, the lies about candy bears, okay, leaving the Real Housewife of Atlanta, another story was breaking the Real Housewives of Atlanta internet, okay, with candy being on Instagram, and look who's curling her hair. Yes, that's Portia Williams, former assistant. Lydia, that was my girl Jess. Oh, 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 oh. Look who's over here curling my hair today. What? The one who was also on her show, okay? Now, he's an assistant. He's good at his job or whatever. But people were complaining like that's like a very personal situation a personal space the fact that she trusts him enough to curl her hair to be a part of her team someone who still communicates with Portia someone who gets to be around to hear certain discussions that could take that information back to Portia why would Candy be so trusting and people were just going in okay and I've learned to fall back especially when the person who dealt with the situation is moving this way. If Candy who dealt with the situation with Portia is not tripping and is moving this way, then who am I or anyone else to be, you know, on the verge of popping a vein? Because, you know what I'm saying? That's how upset people were. But when you look at images and videos like this and you see the pain in her eyes and just the, she was hurt to the core. When you play these scenes back, you can understand why people get that emotional. Not only that, the brat got married, okay, to her wife, Jessica. Candy did go to the wedding, all right? And Portia was there as well because most of you are aware that Portia worked on this nation for years and the brat worked with her so they took a picture together all right and social media did not play with Portia so let's go ahead and read some of the comments and then I will come back and and end it Portia trying her best to get back on RHOA I know Lisa was tight she couldn't wear white or beige <laughs> you can tell by body language someone is uncomfortable if I were Candy, in no way I'd be in that picture with Portia. Portia doesn't deserve Candy's friendship. She's just using Candy to get good with everyone. Why y'all calling this woman Chanel? That's a lot. <laughs> That's Milo. Chanel. How did she be here? Chanel. Oh, Chanel was so bad. She kept calling her Chanel. <laughs> Chanel always looks late. Very early Y2K. Could update her fashion a little. Leave she be alone. Um, they took a pic. They weren't hanging out. Y'all know Candy don't fool with that lady like that. She's not in Candy's inner circle. Whatever, Portia. I'm still not over her from the spin-off. I know. Get a hot mess. Child, this is just for pics. I find it hard to believe Portia and Candy go out to eat and sit on the phone with each other. Candy deals with her in group settings briefly. Candy never learns. Candy, get away from that woman. She's declassing your show. Yeah, I agree with that person. Even though you can forgive and move on. I will never have private one-on-one -on -one with Portia. It will always be in a group, on the show, other people will be around because who knows what Portia could pull and be like, oh, when we're together, she did this and did that. You never recover from a lie like that. You make the choice to move on because holding on to hurt, anger, and pain limit your ability you know he who angers you controls you so in order to move on you have to let go of that move in peace and all of that that doesn't mean that you forget or forgot what that person did to you so candy and Portia will never ever be the same whatever they had that would never go away what she did was just disgusting but in order for candy to move on and be happy and all of that She's choosing to move this way. And my thing is, absolutely, you can forgive someone and you can also watch them from afar. You don't have to be around me. We don't have to be BFFs. But like people said, this is simply a picture. The same thing goes in The Real Housewife of Atlanta. You're on the show. 
we are filming together i'm gonna walk in the room and smile and say hello and be at peace i'm not going to do any of that because we have to work together so that's basically what's going on here portia is just kissing bleep so she can get back on the housewives next season because nobody on the current cast is friends with her except drew they could really just move on without portia if she doesn't try to fake like she's cool with candy too laughing face emoji this other person they weren't hanging out they all attended the same event and just because two people in a picture together doesn't make them friends candy can be cordial exactly but i bet they aren't coming to her house for dinner anytime soon so i mean it's just a picture people calm down <laughs> they be going in a portion if the person who lived the event and dealt with it is not tripping or losing sleep about it, then who am I? I understand it triggered a lot of people and anger and things like that. But if the person who went through it is choosing peace and I'm going to smile and all of that, then hey, let her live. And it took a long time for Candy to get here. But I'm going to repeat it again. He who angers you controls you. That It takes too much energy and just too much work to hate someone when you can just say it is what it is. The person apologized. You know, it's been a few years. I've healed from it and I'm just going to move on now. Candy wrote in her caption, congratulations to my girls. She tagged the brat and Jessica. If you're on Instagram and other social media outlets, then you are aware that she goes by the name of BB Judy. She's an entrepreneur and all of that. Okay. I'm wishing Candy continue. I'm wishing for a lifetime of happiness for y'all. And Judy responded, thanks for always supporting us. Heart emoji. We love and appreciate your friendship. Kenny responded, you are supposed to be relaxing on the beach. Why are you on the phone? Enjoy the honeymoon. Basically, get off Instagram and stop responding, chat. Portia also left a comment. So fun. And when I saw this image right here with Jermaine Dupree, I was like, remember when people used to think that Dennis was Jermaine Dupree, <laughs> Portia Williams' ex fiance <laughs> So yeah. Anyways, I'm wishing all of you well and take care. And then here my final loves. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times. And seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.